मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी जस्टिस बोबडे जस्टिस चंद्रचूद ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ द डायस जजेस रिटायर्ड जजेस ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट चीफ जस्टिसेस इंक्लूडिंग जस्टिस चेलूर रिटायर्ड चीफ जस्टिसेस रिटायर्ड जजेस सीनियर लॉयर्स सीनियर लॉयर्स प्रैक्टिसिंग द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हु माय सी और माय लेफ्ट एंड हु आर प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ द बॉम्बे बार डॉक्टर साठे मिस्टर ठक्कर friends it, it's a great moment for me to be here even though technically i do not belong to your bar but i was tell you and as the the host announced i did my law in the government law college and i had thought at that time that i will start practice in bombay because it was always a premier high court but ultimately i think the lore of the supreme court brought me back to delhi but i have lot of friends in the bar here who i see lot of my classmates are <clears throat> judges of the bombay high court some have retired some are still there so i can claim to have a close connection to the high court and a close connection to the bar and i also want to I recognize one of my teachers in law college who is sitting here and that is mr rafiq dada he used to he used to teach us income tax and mr nafde who i meet every day in the supreme court used to teach us evidence act when i initially came to the bombay high court once in a while as a young lawyer i used to be very surprised when the lawyers would say well i am a member of the original side and somebody would say i am a member of the appellate side now in delhi and punjab and other places we don't have any such distinction i mean i would argue a case on the original side in the delhi high court say on the suit side and next moment go and argue a murder appeal so there was no distinction but here i found at least 20 30 years ago that there was a marked distinction and i don't know if it is still there the rooms were also separate of the this bar and the western india bar as they call it then when i started reading about it i realized how the original side grew how a group of barristers commenced as dr sate said practice and that was limited to a presidency town then i read why is it called a presidency town because the east india company had a president so it was called a presidency so the the city was presidency while the rest of the state was not president presidency and then i found you also have rules maybe in calcutta also that if there is some kind of cause of action outside bombay then you take leave to file a suit under letters patent in bombay and stuff like that which i found rather foreign to to the jurisprudence to which i got used in the delhi high court but it is obvious that this bar has very rich traditions i don't think it is possible to name the legends of this bar and the luminaries maybe till 1 o'clock when this function ends and i don't propose to do that because all of you obviously know and you have inherited a very rich heritage the fact that this bar has shown resilience strength and tenacity i think can be described by two incidents one which dr sathe mentioned a rather fractious start about the suit between the advocate general and the lawyers and the second which is more relevant that the bar hung on to original jurisdiction for the last 20 years after the same having been abolished and having lost in the supreme court <laughs> and now it's like not a review but a curative petition which has been allowed and you are firmly back in the saddle that is the strength of your bar
I think one of the most stellar roles which this bar played was during the emergency. And obviously, a strong bar, in my humble view, produces a strong court. Because the members of the bar are the ones who ultimately go to the bench. This bar is synonymous with a strong court, has always been synonymous with a strong court, which is the Bombay High Court. The Bombay High Court also played a stellar role during the emergency when fundamental rights were suspended. So it is this rich tradition and heritage which you carry. But mind you, uneasy lies the head which wears the crown. So you have to maintain those standards which have come down to you the last 150 years, recorded years, maybe a little more. And you must always continue with those glorious traditions if you want to remain a premier bar. You must also know that you have such a long lead. If there is a race amongst the bars, no other bar can catch up except maybe one or two presidency bars like Calcutta or Madras. But all other high courts in the country can never catch up, including the Supreme Court, which started in 1947, Federal Court, a little before that, etc. So you have to maintain the race and keep running the marathon. And I expect all these lawyers who are here, who are doyens of the bar, that they will keep abreast of all the latest positions and maintain their standards. I just want to make one special mention. I was reading Chief Justice Chagla's book. I have read it two, three times. A man of impeccable character, great probity, he was called to the Supreme Court by Pandit Nehru. But there was a rebellion. You, we all know about that. So he did not come. But what I found interesting was, he writes in his book that he used to go to the Billington Club every day. And if my memory does not fail, I think he passed away in the club. I can only say, that a chief justice of a premier court, a premier city, would go to the club every day and not lead a life of seclusion, and yet was a man of great probity. If a person like late Shri Chagla were to apply today to be a judge of the high court, he would be refused. because today we have supposedly different standards. I must only tell you one more thing. Our Supreme Court bar has also taken various initiatives for lawyers. I don't know how many initiatives your bar has taken for lawyers. The latest two initiatives taken just a week ago or just five days ago was to provide for group insurance for lawyers, clerks, and other uh, officers in the, the lawyers' firms, etc. And the second, which is most important and most relevant, is to start an ATM in the Supreme Court exclusively for lawyers. <laughs> I thank Dr. Sate and everybody for inviting me. I am really humbled. And I have fond memories of all the Bombay judges who came to the Supreme Court and to the Delhi High Court with a special mention of Justice Baryava as he was the Chief Justice of our High Court, Justice Gokhale, Justice Shri Krishna, Justice Sujata Manohar. I have very fond memories of appearing before them in the, in the Supreme Court day after day. Thank you and God bless.